Okay, so we're gonna do some trampoline tosses. The main one that we do is an overhead toss. You just, your hand is over your head and you just toss it back and forth. But some other common ones too is where you have an upper rotation, but you're just coming from a high position and really rotating. And you also do like an underhand rotation where you rotate from down low. This exercise is called upper extremity step ups. So you'll have the step up like you normally would for regular step ups. And we'll have them in a high plank and they'll go stepping up and down off the step. They can do forward and back like that, or they can also do side to side up and over the step. Go. Okay, this is a plyometric push up. It's pushing up and then your hands are leaving the ground and coming back down. It's obviously for a more advanced patient. So they're here, you're coming all the way down, pushing up till your hands leave and coming back down. This exercise is are a couple D2 and D1 patterns. So the first one is um, the Q-tip one. So you wanna start, imagine, at your hip, and you're gonna bring it across your body up to your ear, like you have a Q-tip in your ear, and then throwing it away. And then the other pattern is the sword draw. So you start with your hand in your pocket, with your thumb facing in, bringing it up to extend it out with your thumb out. And it's really important to focus on the rotation of the shoulder in both of these movements. All right, this next exercise is just throwing, um, and we'll have the patient do a half kneel on a foam pad. And what they're gonna do is they're just gonna throw the ball. Okay, this is an eccentric kneeling ball catch or toss. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have, like Maddie is here, kneeling on a pad. She's gonna catch it with this hand over her shoulder and throw it back. The hardest part is actually the tossing of this. So you're trying to get it to land right through here gonna catch it and then throw it back. Make sense? Here we go. All right, this exercise is called body blade and we have two different sizes. The larger one is gonna be harder so you can just have the patient um, usually start with a smaller one but as they progress they can go to the larger one <clears throat> and we'll do three different directions usually. There's one where they have their arm bent at 90 degrees and they just go side to side nice and controlled. And they'll also do up and down like this, and then side to side with their arm outstretched like this. Another way we do this is called PNF, and that just means they'll start up to the side and kind of bring it down across like this. All right, this is the cross body stretch, and you're just gonna have the patient use their arm to pull their affected arm over to the side and hold it for 30 seconds three times. All right, this is the posterior capsule stretch. And what you'll have the patient do is bring their arm behind their back, just like this. And then they'll put their elbow on the wall and just kind of lean back or take a step back just to get a good stretch on the back side of their shoulder. And they'll hold it for 30 seconds three times. So these are called um, upper extremity stretch. <laughs> <laughs> upper <laughs> <laughs> Upper extremity step ups! <laughs> Hooray! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop it! Over the shoulder. You want it to be like long and flat toss, and then you just try and catch it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, you need to scoot back. <laughs> like that. You want them to follow through. Oh my gosh. And then to go back and throw it like that. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so surprised. <laughs> Try it underhand. Yeah, that's not why. It's way easier underhand. Alright, this is the posterior. The posterior. Posterior cat. Hide in the corner.